Most insects undergo complete metamorphosis, including beetles, bees, butterflies, and mosquitoes. Complete metamorphosis begins when an adult insect lays eggs that hatch into a soft, worm-like form called a larva. During this stage, the larva grows extremely fast and therefore needs to eat lots of food. At the end of this growth stage, the insect will make a covering called a cocoon, or will live and begin the pupa stage. During the pupa stage, the larva will stop eating and moving. The pupa appears lifeless, but inside the pupa cocoon, the larva's body will completely change into a fully grown adult. Once the adult larva leaves the pupa cocoon, it slowly stretches out under the sun for a bit so its exoskeleton can dry and harden. It has fully functional wings and it is ready to fly. Some insects undergo incomplete metamorphosis, including cockroaches, termites, praying mantises, crickets, and lice. This type of life cycle also begins with an adult insect that lays eggs to hatch into a form of insect called a nymph. The nymph is a small version of the adult insect. This is similar to how a child looks like his or her parents. Nymphs usually have no wings and a thin exoskeleton. As insect nymphs grow larger, their exoskeleton or skin becomes too tight and they must shed and replace it. Once a nymph outgrows its exoskeleton, it will go through a process called molting. The nymph molts and replaces its old skin or exoskeleton with new skin. The new skin will harden and become the new exoskeleton. This will happen many times until the insect finally becomes an adult. Here are a few examples of life cycles. In a frog's life cycle, a frog at first starts out as an egg, then after it hatches it turns into a tadpole, and then eventually it grows to a tadpole with legs, then a little froglet, and then it's an adult frog, and the cycle starts all over again. In a simple life cycle, which is like our life cycle, we first start off as an embryo, then we grow into an infant or baby, then we head into our teenage years, and then we're an adult and we can reproduce, and the cycle starts all over again. And our last life cycle is that of a flowering plant. First we know it starts off as a seed, and then it becomes a germinating seed that grows into a seedling, and then it grows into a mature plant with flowers. And that plant can also have fruit, food, or of course flowers. And then the cycle starts all over again and we're back at seed.